Hey all. Uh, welcome back to Neon's Movie Reviews. Um, I'm Neon, and uh, this is my buddy Nate. Um, and uh, today we are talking about The Town. Uh, this was, I, th um, I think it was 2010 it came out. Um, ben Affleck directed, starred, um, bank heist movie. Um, Non-spoilers, uh, what did you think? Went, uh, great directing by Ben Affleck. All the casting was great. It's a fun, dramatic action movie. thought Renner was great. Renner... Even thinner than he was in, as, Hawk, as like Hawkeye in the beginning. Mm-hmm. But... Yeah. Um, which I felt fit, fit the character and, and everything. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I agree. Um, this was one of the standout roles for, for Ben Affleck for me and this, and then, um, uh, Gone Baby Gone, which he directed a couple of years prior was just a, like a one, two punch for him as a director for me, where it was just, okay, I'm, I will see anything that he puts out. Um. And, uh, ironically, I haven't seen the, the films that he put out after that, but, um, I'll be seeing them on this channel. Um, but that's, I don't really want to talk about this film, non-spoilers, just if you haven't seen this, I, I would highly recommend it. Um, I would give this film a 8 out of 10. Um, I'll even go a little better. I'll, 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 I'll give it a solid eight and a half. Okay. Okay. I, re I really liked it. It was... Um, I don't... Without giving away too much, I mean, I, I guess I would say I I like that... Heist, yeah, I like heist movies. Oh, yeah. And it definitely scratches that itch. <laughs> um, and that, you know tradition of you know heat oceans I mean, it's different than both of those but in that tradition of heist movies you know and an italian job yeah a little bit and things like that um but fun and and action scratches that itch yeah um i will say though don't just expect a cry or like a heist movie also like it, it's definitely a boston crime movie um like it's another very shot for shot remake of another country's movie. Just yeah, no, no, it's its own. It's its own movie. Um, it's it's not The Departed, which is an amazing film, but it's um, yeah, it's it, it is a Boston set heist movie, and the city is one of the characters. Um, so definitely, just expect a Boston okay, movie. Oh yeah, super good in the movie. Blake, super good. Blake Lively is really good, uh, and uh, John Hamm also in a supporting role is really, really good. Um, I can't not love that. Yeah, Man. and and Rebecca Hall, uh, the uh, um, the the bank manager, yeah. she's she's very good. Um, but yeah, let's let's dive right into spoilers. Um, if you've not seen this, get out of here. Um, <laughs> oh, oh. Um, but yeah this this let's talk about that opening that opening sequence the just how it, right off the bat you've got awesome bank heist yep. S sets the stage you've got the uh just to, to me that was the going into the bank and heat yes yes um or that first going into the bank in the original point break yes um you're talking the actual like the the big finale, or the the earlier stuff. The, the, the earlier the, the earlier stuff. Not, okay. Not, not when they're forcing Keanu to go. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. The okay. first time you see the ex president. Yes. No. I I can definitely feel that. Um, I I did enjoy their their masks as well. I thought those were really really it's nice. Very, uh, Dreadlocks, skulls. It was very payday ish. <laughs> Yes. I mean, it's, it's very payday-ish. Um, Which is a, probably another reason why we both like it. We're big fans of the, the game Payday. Yeah. Um, 
Um, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, it, it was it was a great great set piece. I, I love the mask. Yeah. Um, uh, but it's introduces they also set up the the Jesse James ish legend of Jesse James ish. You know, oh, I'm 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 the gentleman bank mm-hmm. robber. And and then you've got I'm the here for the bank's money, not not to hurt you. But then you also got the wild card, and the yeah, and J- Jeremy Jeremy Renner plays that wild card really well. Um, and had the wild card, the, the the guy that they just brought in, the the white supremacist guy, the one who's serial killing the oh yeah, <laughs> the, the the hookers or whatever you know, like he was. Yeah. The one that messed everything up for them. Mm-hmm. But I I really enjoyed his his character because unlike that wild card, usually he was still sympathetic. I understood his motivations. He wasn't just doing stuff to fuck shit up. In right. his in his view of the world, it made sense, and it was just like okay, if it all fits the character. Um, yeah, and it, no lie, I mean. It's always nice to have that friend that you can walk up to and go, don't ask me any questions. <laughs> We're about to go hurt some people. And you can never, ever, ever ask me any questions about this. We can never talk about this. Yep. And if you have a friend that goes, all right, where are we going? You know. That's, it's a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> right. It, it's scary if you're asking your friend to do that. If you're the one being put into that position and you have to decide if you're that good of a friend, I mean, that's going to be a scary ball. <laughs> and unless you have a little bit of a psychopathic twist like like he has. And right. Clinically, you know, no, no regard for life. But uh, Renner does a great job. Um, I, I loved the Af- I loved Affleck. In every scene in this movie, I loved the date. Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, we, I, sh- I should say, we did watch the uh, the director's cut of this. I had never seen any cut. So yeah, that's the only one I've seen. Yeah, I, I had only seen it uh, when in the theaters when it came out, and then um, and then now when I watched the the director's cut for the first time, which is about like thirty five minutes longer, I think it is. Um, but significant difference, I, w- I would say, like. A um, lot more character ca- character interactions really make you care more about the the main the main characters as well as the, just the it fleshes out the townsfolk um, and makes the makes the the city feel like an actual place and an actual character. Um, it's yeah, and which I mean, the, it's the town. It, like the it's a. Uh, like it, it is about the town just as much as it is about these bank robbers. Okay. Um, this is this is where they're all born and bred. Mm-hmm. This is this is that community. Um, but yeah, I I absolutely love J- uh, Jeremy Renner in this. Um, um, ben Affleck as well. I thought it was absolutely great. Um, that that. That boat scene was awesome in the extended cut. Like, there's this nice romantic date. They got a boat, and uh, or and he's got this little rinky-dink boat that he takes her out on. And he's got a friend who owns a bigger boat. Mm-hmm. And uh, they get on it, and you're just kind of like, oh, that is this an actual friend's boat or not? And like, maybe it is. Okay, and then. And then it shows him breaking into like uh, the the locked mini <laughs> the locked mini fridge and pulls out the the champagne and it's just like oh no he just stole this boat. Um, <laughs> and you know, other people aren't coming after this boat. So he's, right, he's already displayed. He is he's the type that's ready to rock and roll. So uh. and, and you got the great you know she asks him uh, oh is this you know where you take all of the other girls and he's just like I can honestly say I've never taken anyone else on this boat. Yeah. Um, and uh Blake Lively. Yeah, she awesome. she was great. She was just like a strung out mom, like just party animal. And she's In my mind they kept comparing her to Rose McGowan's character in Southie. I've not seen Southie, so I can't I can't comment. That's the, that's the character I kept comparing her to, but I don't I don't think Rose McGowan's character had a kid. Okay. But it, Southie is another great Boston movie. Okay, I'll have to check that out. Um, but 
yeah, I, I was very sold by her performance. It was very impressive. Um, but just the cast overall, like the, the rest of the gang is awesome. Um, I don't know any of the, the actors' names, but they're, they're, they feel like they're fleshed out people. They don't feel like characters. Um, and uh, I love, I, I think his name is Pete Postlewaith. Um, but uh, he, uh, he probably most recognizable as the hunter in the Lost World. Um, or if you've seen in the name of the father, he is the father. Um, or the usual suspects. Oh yeah, the usual suspects. He is, um, oh, what's his the name? Asian name. Yeah. Um, he's Kaiser Soze's like, uh, assistant. Um, cause it ends up being the, the right. brand of the, the cult. Right. Um, I said spoilers. <laughs> um, exactly. Spoilers for other movies, too. Yes, warning. Um, oh, God damn it. I'm blanking on the name. Because uh, I remember thinking that that's kind of generically right. almost stereotypical and now I can't remember oh the, man uh, now I can't remember the name it's, probably, it's like probably like in the next we're not talking like, about family guys so we know it's like Kawasaki, Toyota Kawasaki right oh god I don't know it'll, it'll probably come to <laughs> come to us later but yeah so but anyway suspects. He, he was he was the Kaiser Soze's like right hand man in that um and yeah he sad but uh, this and his brief little role in inception were his last films that he did he died shortly after filming both um but this was a, a, a much better <laughs> finale than the sickly old man in inception for for his career um and he is a fucking badass he is a mean guy <laughs> he is he, he is just for how frail he is, he is he is very intimidating. I'll clip you. Yeah. You don't want to be clipped. <laughs> no. Nah. He's a florist. Yeah. But he talks about he, to Ben Affleck about his dad and um, maybe why his dad had met an untimely end mm -hmm. in the business. Yeah. yeah. His run of bad luck might not have been in, in what had happened to his mother. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's... He's, a, he's an absolute prick. Piece of... And, and I love that. In a, I love oh, that in a script. I love that in a director. I love that in an actor. Yep. If you can pull make it off. I love you. Make me hate you. Make me feel something about you. If, if I don't really care when you're on screen, why you're on screen, and right. I don't want to hear you talk, and I'm not waiting for the next scene with you, why are you, why are you in the movie? Exactly. Everybody um, in this movie. They all have a purpose. All have a purpose. And no matter what, I'm waiting for, all right, what's next? Right. And great, great movie. Mm -hmm. I'm super, super happy, impressed. Yeah. The I had high expectations. And I felt they were still <laughs> the of of the three heists. Well, we, we already said I, you know, you gave it an eight. I gave it an eight and a half. I would have said going in because I, I like to not go in expecting too much. Right. Even if I've been told, and I've been told nothing but good things about this movie. I still I went into it with high hope, but still not <laughs> like all right. It's, all right. Everybody says it's great. I'll probably. You know, maybe it'll be a seven, seven and a half. You know, so when I get an eight, eight and a half, I'm just, oh, wow, that was I me. really liked this. <laughs> uh, action set pieces were great. John Hamm, another character. <laughs> just he, like, God, he, all right, like you're kind of by the books. Like when we were talking mm -hmm. about it earlier, I was like, okay, well, like when uh, they're Towards the end of the movie, so, yeah, you know, so, you know, spoilers in here, you know, as as they're they're leaving their final job, he's going for the tires. He's got the shotgun and he's going for the tires. All the other cops yep. are shooting inside the vehicle. Why do I want to do that? Right. I I want this guy alive. I want him to go to jail. Mm -hmm. You know, he has that 
scene, it's, you know... Especially it, if it, the it, other guys get away, I really need him. Right. It's, <laughs> it's that Pacino De Niro scene earlier when he and Affleck are having, you know, their tete-a-tete, and he tells them, you know, I'm going to catch you. Mm-hmm. And then at some point, you and your lawyer are going to come to me, and you're going to want to flip on your friends, and Such a good you're going to want to cut a deal. And I'm going to look at you with a smile on my face and tell you to go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I... I love that in a law enforcement agent. I know there's a lot of there's a lot of negative stuff going on about law enforcement right now, and I will say, this: if you're the type of law enforcement agent that you want to catch the bad guy, and you're not, you don't want to kill him. You don't. You want to catch the bad guy because you want the bad guy to go away for his crimes. Right. There's nothing wrong with that. I can at least I, I can respect that. I at least don't think there's anything corrupt about that. Like, okay. You know, and but when it comes time for it, I think you're a bad enough fish. <laughs> you know, you're not a minnow. No. I don't consider you to be a minnow. If you were a minnow, maybe we'd cut a deal. Right. But you're not a minnow. You're 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 a low level crime boss. Mm-hmm. And so you don't get the deal. Right. I want you to go to jail <laughs> because then there's other crimes that don't happen and I don't have to investigate those crimes it makes my job easier right you know so I I, I understand his his mentality and, and and again when Renner's running from him he has a shotgun yeah I'm sure he understand he at at some point maybe also suspected that Renner was wearing a, a bulletproof vest but Right. I I'm not a ballistics expert. I don't know how much that bulletproof vest will. I mean, yeah. that bulletproof vest will may, might have protected him from that shotgun, but it definitely would have taken him off his feet. Oh yeah. But he went for his leg. Mm-hmm. You know, well, and also he had the he had I, the bag of money on his back too. <laughs> I guess that's that's true. Yeah. Um, but you know, like all right, he's not. I'm, I'm, not... Gonna, I'm gonna go for the leg. You know. Yep. Later on, mm-hmm. you know, he he wants to catch Affleck. Right. He's not he's trying to like, kill him. He doesn't want to kill him, and that's right. Similar to again what we have in heat. Yeah, you, know, you have that respect between the two when they have that conversation. I can't let you win. You can't let me win. Sooner or later, some one of us has to give. Right. You know, and you know John Hamlin faced with that decision. You know, he and he's not even the one that kills Renner. You know, it's it's one of the oh yeah no credits you know this police is, officer number 46 right you know? yeah they, they just as immediately around the corner he gets a headshot mm-hmm. it's i mean he headshot. is pulling out his guns which are empty yes. um but yeah it was total death you know suicide by cop is what it was but right, still but, yeah, I, I you know john ham never point. fired right. the, the the gun and the entire time it's just like okay like you're not res- you're <sighs> motionless. There's all right. Yep. Didn't get how this one. Gonna, how am I gonna get Affleck now? <laughs> you know, I you have know. to find him now. All right. Affleck gets away right there. Mm-hmm. You know? uh, what I will say that I loved, loved, loved about this one is that you know, again, the, uh, we talked about this earlier too. You get the kind of the the wave off. Mm-hmm. Yep. From, you, you get know, the the. Heat wave off was a hand wave off, and on this one, it's still be. I want you to come by. It'll be just like one of my sunny days. Right, which earlier in the film was revealed as a. Uh, the day her uh, brother died. Right, the day her day. brother died. A beautiful sunny day. Um, so, and like, if you come by, you're not gonna. You're not going to make it. Yep, it's <laughs> gonna be another beautiful sunny day for, for me. <laughs> right, somebody else that I care about is going to die mm-hmm. that day. John Hamm doesn't pick up on it then. Right. But at but the end, when he doesn't show him. up, you know, he's just like... Sunny oh, day. Mm. All right. Let's right, <laughs> pack it up. Like, and, and I love the... You realize we're a national organization, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, which was, you know... Uh, I, I liked that. So that was the combination, you know, if you're, if you're comparing it to a, a movie like he... Right. What I don't like about the end of that movie is that I feel that De Niro deciding to go after uh, the guy who had 
you know, was basically responsible for the death of Danny Trejo mm-hmm. and had, you know, messed everything up for his crew. Was that a character? Yeah. Like, I... It was, I, he, they needed that movie, set piece. He talked about, if I get the chance, I'm gone. Mm-hmm. They needed that. They needed that finale at the train yard, and it was how do we get there? The airport, or yeah, the airport. Um, and it was just like, all right, we we know we need to get here. How do we get there? I, I, uh. I, I thought it would have been better if somehow they had boarded, and right, he got down through to the landing gear and got off that way, and mm-hmm. but. You didn't get that here. It's more of the Val Kilmer. You know, he gets the way off. Yep. He gets just, to get away. Yep. All right. I'm out. <laughs> I love the leaving the money. Mm-hmm. The, the cool tangerine. Yep. Clue. little hint for where he's at. Um, like, Everything yeah. It wraps up with a nice tiny bow. Oh, we both thought something different about the end. Yeah. The, the, I don't the, know where the hockey ring is. I thought it was in Florida. Yeah. So in, in, in the final shot of the film is this, uh, you see this plaque that says um uh this donation in memory the final but towards the end right yeah yeah um but yeah it's, it says uh this donation in memory of like doris mccarthy i think it was mccray um and uh that's uh ben affleck's character's mom Earlier in the film, both of them had talked about how they they like this this rinky dink hockey rink, but they um, there's no ice, they, no money to repair the place to to fix it up. So it, everybody just uses it like a basketball court or whatnot, and uh, so. I took it as that's the 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 hockey rink that um, that she fixed up with the money that he left her, and you took it as I something completely different. In, I thought they built it in Florida, and then when we get the in shot of him looking out, I was like, all right, well, she's with the kid at hockey practice, and he's hanging out at the house. Yeah, I mean, it kind of sounds like a shitty dad moment. <laughs> now that I think about it, I'm like. So he's he's the former hockey pro and he's hanging out at home while he's <laughs> hockey practice. That doesn't seem right. I mean, right? If, if he, if he can hang out in the community, you should be able to be with his <laughs> kid at the. You know, he's got this house. You should be able to hang out with his kid. So now that I think about it, I mean, I, I think yours is more plausible. But yeah, that, that was the first impression I got. I was like, oh, they're cool. They're all together. But well, the other no, thing I think that's less plausible. Yeah. Well, the other thing about it is that. She, yes, she knows where he's at, but she's probably also being watched by the FBI. Like, she she goes to, if she goes anywhere, they're gonna keep keep a tab on her just to, on the off chance. Kobayashi. Co- yes, yes, <laughs> Kobayashi. No, it would come later. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's all you've been thinking about this whole time. My, I mean, I don't believe that you can truly multitask. You, you can only do one thing at a time. But my brain's been like, okay, three seconds here. What was that again? Three seconds here. What was his name? Three seconds here. All right, was it Nobunaga? No. All right. I know it was something that, that I think is serious. All right. All right. All right. Koyashi. Uh, that's it. We can just edit that later and make us not look like well, we totally forgot to about an important character in a great movie. Uh, that's that's amazing. Um, yes, Kobayashi. Um. <laughs> because I always think about him every time I watch the the remake of Star Trek. Because the the Ooh. flight, the simulator that they're on, where he's supposed to learn, mm-hmm. you know, what it's like to be in an unwinnable situation is called the Kobayashi Maru. Oh, that's right. I forgot about <laughs> so that. So I always think of the usual suspect. So I'm horrified that I could <laughs> Um But the movie wraps back, up back to, very, back, very tidy. Back to, yes, back to the town, yes. Um, I, I did take it, though, that, yeah, she she's being watched, so she can't go to him if she wants to, and that he's just there kind of waiting. Um, it makes totally more sense. <laughs> I do I like that idea. I like I do like the 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 happy sappy ending. I guess I'm just kind of <laughs> in that mindset where I would like a happy sappy ending and <laughs> No, nothing wrong with that. Spoiler spoiler alert. Yeah. No, uh no, but 
great movie. Mm-hmm. Totally, totally recommend it. Please I, watch this movie. Yes. Gone Baby Gone. Yeah, you need to see that. Uh, uh, Gone Baby Gone, I've seen. Oh, I thought... Wait, Gone Baby Gone is, is, is his wife is missing. It's Gone Girl. Oh. Then I have not seen Gone Baby Gone. <laughs> Gone Baby Gone, yeah. It's uh, Casey Affleck, Morgan Freeman, Ed Harris. So I take it Gone Girl is a totally different kind of movie than... Because I was like, well, this whole time, I'm not going to lie to you, I was totally thinking of those, of those movies, and I was like, <laughs> it's kind of weird. I mean, like, that was his directorial <laughs> debut, and then he did The Town? Like, <laughs> All right. Weird tonal shift. Yeah. That makes his debut just, I mean, I haven't seen Gone Baby Gone, but then, <laughs> I mean, I was like, wow, because I loved Gone Girl. I never yes. read the book. But no, anyway. no, God. It's a totally different. Yeah, no, God Baby Gun is, um, it's Dennis Lehane uh, adaptation. He did Mystic River, um, okay. Shutter Island. Uh, it's another one of his, yes. Um, but this is closer to Mystic River. Um, okay. Casey Affleck and his partner are investigating a missing child. Okay. Um, but. And then you met, gr- gr- yeah, please. It's that, but that's a fantastic movie too. I have not seen Argo. Uh, which he directed af- uh, a couple of years after the after the town, and I have not seen uh, Live by Night, um, which is a the one he did most recently, um, which is a like probation era set uh, uh, gangster flick. Um, Argo, I want to see because of that YouTube video. I just about the the CIA spy lady who's. husband oh, oh yeah, the yeah. Affleck character when yeah. she's talking about you know. Well, that, yeah, that how was, things are. And spy movies versus reality. I, I just want to see that movie, period. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it. But, um, yeah, no. Um, fantastic film. I do, want to, I do want to talk about that, uh, the Nun sequence. Okay. That, for me, was is one of the best bank heists or heist sequences in any film. That, that's up there with um, Dark Knight's opening for me. I would compare it, for, for me, literally watching that scene, I was comparing it to the, the armored truck scene at the beginning of Heat. Okay, I can see that. <laughs> Again, like, I, I, I drew a lot of parallels between these two movies. Not a bad thing. Mm-hmm. It was not a rip-off no. of Heat. There's just some There are similarity. similar things going on. It's a... It's a heist movie there's yeah. going to be similar things that go on right. i'm not asking you to not do things to come up with something totally original every time just find an original way to tell me the story mm-hmm. so that it feels new right and it did there were similarities the, the, there's similarities between lots of movies that doesn't make them bad it just exactly as long as your storytelling is good and it's top notch right and then, so is the acting so is the directing so yeah, no, I thought that was fantastic. Um, I I will say, like, I, I for me, I just... The overall set piece of it was... I, I would say right there up, you have, like, the, the bank of Dark Knight and then a baby driver getaway sequence, almost. Um, just on steroids. <laughs> but... I, I, yeah, um, I just, that was the big set piece that always stuck out to me, um, in this movie. The other ones are much more in tone with the film. This one was just like, okay, here we're going all out. Um, but, yeah, just please go see this movie. Um, and if you've seen this movie, let me, let me know what you thought. Um, but I think that's going to kind of wrap it up. Um, but, yeah, um. Give this video a like if you've uh, if if you enjoyed this content and uh, definitely subscribe for more content or for, for more content like this. Um, yeah, that's gonna about do it all. Bye.